Thank you, Chairman, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about uh, our uh, project of uh, flexible endoscopic surgery uh, system. I have nothing to disclose. Uh, endoscopic surgery was developed in the uh, 1980s and widely spread uh, during 1990s uh, as a standard procedure for simple surgical treatments. In 2000, a master surgical robot was launched and uh, enabled surgeons to perform the complicated procedures uh, more easily. Uh, the currently available uh, system has a uh, magnified 3D HD vision, uh, wristed instruments, and a tremor reduction, uh, which uh, facilitate uh, difficult surgical procedures. However, uh, its poor uh, cost effectiveness uh, and bulky configurations and the reimbursement issues uh, have impeded uh, the wide scale uh, adoption of the use uh, of surgical robot. Addressing uh, these issues uh, by applying and fusing of Japan's uh, strong uh, uh, cutting edge technologies and expertise uh, in robotics and flexible uh, endoscopies, we aim to uh, realize uh, an innovative uh, flexible endoscopic <coughs> surgical system uh, that surgeons uh, can uh, intuitively uh, manipulate uh, with uh, a clear panoramic visions and during the surgery. Uh, our flexible robot uh, added novel uh, various uh, values uh, for endoscopic surgery, uh, such as uh, uh, the uh, uh, independent uh, articulation of uh, the endoscope uh, from the robotic arms. Uh, the flexible structure uh, makes the size of a uh, face uh, smaller and the cost lower and enables the tips of the robot to reach deep into the body. Uh, we have studied uh, the R&D project uh, of uh, FES uh, by organizing a consortium uh, consisting of an, an uh, industrial robot company, Kawasaki, and endoscope company, uh, Panasonic and the Medical uh, Instruction uh, Engineering uh, Academia. Uh, with a grant from the AMED, uh, uh, we studied uh, the project of FS uh, in July 2014. The most important feature of FES uh, is three types of flexibility. The first, uh, uh, the shaft, uh, uh, the shaft, uh, including outer tube, inner tube, and the robotic arms are flexible. The configuration um, uh, is also flexible. Size and the arrangement of instruments are flexible. Therefore, the static application is flexible. And the uh, uh, open architecture uh, uh, of the platform uh, accept conventional flexible instruments for various types of procedures. FES has uh, eight unique features. First, the single uh, port surgery uh, for uh, uh, more minimally invasiveness. A flexible platform uh, to reach deeper surgical fields. Open architecture uh, platform uh, compatible with the existing uh, flexible instruments. And compact uh, configuration uh, uh, mountable to the bed frame. The simple design to uh, easy setup and device exchange. Forceps with uh, real haptics and hyper eye camera having the sensor uh, capable of simultaneous uh, detection of RGB and uh, near infrared rays. The navigation system using uh, pre operative CT data. Uh, I will show you uh, the, uh, the these uh, features using video. Uh, the simple uh, design for easy setup and uh, uh, device exchange. The open architecture uh, platform compatible with the existing flexible device instruments. Navigation system uh, with uh, reconstruct CD, uh, 3D image uh, with infrared signal. The uh, single port flexible platform to reach deeper surgical uh, field. The flexible uh, arms are, are independent uh, articulation. Our target uh, uh, from near uh, surgical field area to the uh, deeper organs. 
uh, including uh, uh, stomach and uh, uh, pancreas and esophagus. The flexor platform has several uh, 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 ways to hook the inner tubes. Uh, the each tips of the inner tube bends laterally to obtain the triangulation of insulin. The outer diameter of platform is 30, uh, 30 uh, millimeter, and the outer diameter of lofty arm is 5 millimeter. The length of the shaft is 475 millimeter, and with a 7 uh, degrees of freedom. The grasping uh, force is uh, 1N for now. We will show you uh, the video of suturing and ligation uh, with this device. Uh, as you can see, the uh, uh, right panel, uh, the uh, master uh, console. As you can see, uh, the movement uh, of the robotic arm uh, is uh, slower uh, because the substantial delay uh, disturbs the quick control uh, uh, for now. So you can see the uh, movement of the robotic arm. The suturing and the square knot ligation uh, have been uh, successfully uh, performed uh, with this device. Okay, this is our conclusion. Thank you for attention. This is our team.